Well, hello everybody and welcome back. After a great few days sailing around the Greek islands, you find me today at Athens Airport on mainland Greece, heading home to Heathrow. I'm starting my journey in the Aristotle Onassis Lounge in the International Departures area of the airport, accessed with my Priority Pass card. Viewers may like to know that this is exactly the same lounge used by One World operators, American Airlines and British Airways. It's quiet now, but became unbearably overcrowded by the time that I left. Today's breakfast is a delicious cold kebab meat and tomato sandwich. It doesn't look good, but it tasted amazing. So much so, in fact, that I had two. The lounge, though, is very basic, so it doesn't offer hot food at breakfast time and nor does it have any form of at-seat service. Boarding today is as with my previous flights from here, by bus, which is fine, as whilst Sky Express does offer to let you buy priority boarding, knowing that most UK flights depart from remote stands, I opted out. Today's aircraft is a two-year-old Airbus A320neo, and is part of a nine-strong fleet of Airbus jets that Sky Express has. Sky Express also has a 12-strong fleet of ATR aircraft that operate domestic flights around mainland Greece and its islands. Taxiing out today, we get a rare up-close view of a British Royal Air Force Voyager, their converted Airbus A330s, and specifically detailed for transporting personnel around the world, as well as offering air-to-air -air refueling for the RAF's fighter jets. Climbing out over the Greek islands, it's a perfectly clear day and I'm relaxing in a very comfortable seat. Today's 3 hour and 35 minute flight will see us cruising at 38,000 feet for the near enough 2,000 mile journey home. Founded in 2005 by a former Olympic Airlines pilot, Sky Express has grown steadily to now rival fellow Greek carrier Aegean, linking Athens with the Greek islands and many of Europe's capital cities with a low-cost model and, as we'll see, quality service. Peeking around the cabin, you'll see that I have nobody sat next to me in the middle seat. And that's the same in all of the middle seats in the first few rows. That's because Sky Express sells, for €15, Euro, a seat in one of the first few rows and, as you can see here, included in that price is a guaranteed blocked middle seat. This is superb, as it rivals the cabins of many European business class products, like you'd see in British Airways Club Europe and Lufthansa Business Class. But it's not all a land of milk and honey, as we'll see soon. About 30 minutes after takeoff, the complimentary Sky Express catering service starts, which is a biscuit and orange juice. This is offered to all passengers, regardless of fare type. Flying over Croatia, it's time for the Sky Express lunch service. As with all low-cost airlines, Sky Express offers a paid-for service, and today I chose the combo meal. A drink and sandwich for €5.50, which actually included two sandwiches. Sky Express doesn't offer hot food for sale, unlike low-cost airlines Ryanair and EasyJet, but nevertheless, the sandwich was good. And as always, I just want to say a huge thanks to my really great Patreon supporters. It's people like James, Joe, Kieran and Joshua who help me to bring these videos to you every month. Sadly, it started to cloud over as we crossed the Alps into Swiss airspace and my mood also clouded over somewhat at this point, ladies and gentlemen, and it had nothing to do with mountains. As you can see, a passenger decided to come and plonk himself in the middle seat next to me. The one that was supposed to be blocked. I'll tell you more on that at the end.
crossing over the English Channel, we made our descent over Windsor into Heathrow. So before I tell you the backstory about my seat burglar, let's look at today's fare. With a base one-way fare of just €46.99, plus the upfront seat at €15 Euro and lunch costing €5.50, my total one-way fare today was just €67.49. Euro so, just back at Terminal 2 now, the Queen's Terminal off the Sky Express flight. I wanted to love it. I wanted to get off that flight and tell you all how great Sky Express was. The money I paid for that flight was very reasonable. But I can't tell you it was great because it wasn't, unfortunately, as you saw on the flight there, everything was going fine. I got the meal, which wasn't too bad, but the sandwich and the drink, it wasn't five and a half euro, it wasn't too bad. Nice new aircraft, flight crew were friendly. And then this bizarre thing happened where this guy just came up to me and said, a passenger said, I've fallen out with the guy I'm sitting next to back at the back of the plane. And so the crew have told me to come and sit in the middle seat here. Which leads me to a wider question, and this is where I could do with your help, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like you to answer the question, yes or no, and feel free to elaborate on your answer. Because this is a wider problem with the middle seat in Europe. So if you're not from Europe, let me explain briefly how European business class works. It's not like in the States where you have two fixed wider seats. All European business classes, generally speaking, is a blocked middle seat as far as the seating goes and while Sky Express don't sell a business class service what they do sell is a blocked middle seat which I paid for 15 euros so it wasn't too bad but I've had this not just on Sky Express but also on British Airways where their, their Club Europe cabin is the same it's the blocked middle seat but where they have what they call irregular ops so flights get cancelled flights get consolidated which is happening a lot with British Airways at the moment because of external staffing issues etc they put people in the middle seat for their convenience, not for my convenience, because I've paid to sit, well, I've paid to have nobody sat next to me. And yet what's happened is the same as what you've seen on Sky Express today, for their convenience, they've just said, well, go and sit next to him. <laughs> it keeps happening to me. I think I must just have a, a label on my head that says, sucker, or pass me all your problems. And, I, and it's a real quandary, because I'm not sure how I feel about it. On the one hand, I've paid for that seat to be blocked, so it should be blocked for the entire flight. That's one way of looking at it. On the other hand, I am quite a compassionate person, and I'll always try and help, and this is where I'm wrestling with it in my mind. So the question is quite straightforward, is if you pay for the middle seat to be blocked, as in you buy a product where it's advertised the middle seat to be blocked, should that middle seat be blocked? I.e., should you let somebody else make their problem your problem? And I'm trying not to be too cold-hearted about this because I'm not a cold-hearted person. I am a compassionate person and I always try and help. But on the flip side, I did pay for that seat to be blocked and it wasn't. And it was just for the airline's convenience. It wasn't my fault he'd fallen out with the guy further back down the plane. I was just sat there being a good passenger and minding my own business. But I'm keen to get your thoughts. Give me a yes or no, tell me what your thoughts are. So on that basis, would I recommend Sky Express? Um, if it was cheap enough, yeah. It, other than that, it wasn't a bad product, it wasn't a bad service. So if you can get it for the price I paid for it, then yeah, I'd fly it again, definitely. But if it was Sky Express economy versus Aegean economy, Aegean every time, uh, their economy service is just so much more substantial. And I'll bring you a product review of the Aegean economy service in a future video or in fact one of my friends living at Large Aviation. I'll leave a link down below because Paul will probably get through it before I do. So go and check his channel out because he'll have a proper review of AGN Economy in the next week or so. So, thanks for watching as always. Happy flying and good luck with the middle seat, wherever you end up flying to. Bye for now. <laughs>